tell us, we're here at the St Albans Soccer Club. Why, why are we here? What's the connection here, Ivan? Uh, I suppose for me, um, it's a place where I grew up and my father played soccer down here. He first came over from Croatia to Australia and yeah, I think it was just a, a meeting hub for a lot of the migrants that moved over here from Croatia. And you were a president until recently, weren't you? And a boss here. Yeah, I spent some time as president, still on the committee. Your two mums are sisters, which yeah. makes you guys cousins. Is it true that you're basically responsible for both of these boys being at the Richmond Footy Club? Well, definitely with Big Soldo. I think it was at the Crow Soccer Tournament in the Gold Coast in 2012, I think. Yeah. A photo was shown to the list manager. Just us standing together. I was probably looking at eye to eye, even on a pretty young age, so I was pretty tall, and I think the interest grew from there, yeah. And you'd never played a game of footy in your life? I played, like, maybe school footy, but, yeah, I didn't think footy was a career for me or anything like that, no. Did you have any moments where, where Dimmer has lost his cool at you for not understanding what's going on uh, or not having the game appreciation? I think we can all say that we've got, like, more soccer skills than the other players, so <laughs> one time I tried to head of the ball because my hands are tied. I was like, I'm going to have to go for this with my head. <laughs> it still gets brought up every now and then, but... What did Dimmer say? Oh, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't too happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole team got a laugh out of it, and luckily we won, but if I if we lost, then... <laughs> we got the spray. We got a spray, sure. Tell me how Ivan helped you, Noah. Well, I think it was like a couple of nights before the draft. He actually came to my house and he's just like giving me a Richmond hat and he goes, you know, I hope you come. <laughs> and once I got picked up, I was like, oh, this is a bit shifty to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I met him here, I reckon, at a young age. By the bar. Um, yeah, I wasn't just, drinking. He wasn't drinking. Yeah, he just <laughs> yeah, put that in. He wasn't drinking. And I idolised the way he played. Yeah, it's, I guess made me who I am today. Tell me about your parents and where they came from. Yeah, mum and dad came here, actually met in St Albans. Um, mum came when she was seven and dad was 26. Have you been back to where they came from in Croatia? Yeah, I have. I have. My dad's house and mum's house still stands. My dad's just, he's got sort of half been damaged in the war. Yeah, during the 90s, but look, it's such a great thing that it's a safe place now. What was your dad like showing you that? He was probably the most emotional out of all of us, actually, to go back there and hadn't been back for 30 years and you know, see the, the graves of his parents and his brother. Yeah, it was pretty emotional and um, you just, it's a really spiritual connection that you feel when you go back there. It was um, something I can't explain, but definitely something that I'll never forget. When I was in year six, I would have been about 12 years old and I went to, back to where our parents, um, our parents are from in Slavonia and where my dad's from as well. And it winds back the clock a lot, I think, when it comes to you know, being grateful where you come from and stuff. So it's interesting to see where they came from because they didn't really have much. I haven't been over there since my well, Dida passed away. Dida's grandfather in Croatian. Um, yeah, he passed away and he got buried over there, so I'd love to go visit him. Do you all speak Croatian? On the field, we yeah. would speak in Croatian to each other in the brief time that, you know, I was um, playing towards the end there. So that was pretty cool. So what, what would you say then? Give us an example. I'd tell uh, Big Solder to go for a mark and I'd tell her, I'd go, hey, the tea scotchy. And like, you know, you, go, you, go, you jump for it. And I'd try and block his man out. So I'd do things like that. Ever given the, uh, the Richmond, famous Richmond song a remake in Croatian? Jeez, I haven't heard of that. No. no. Maybe too hard. If he probably has. Uh, we, sh we could um, give it a go, but maybe not today. We'll oh, to go on. I'd have to get my father on <laughs> <laughs> to help, it, help out a bit. Come on, you just gave it a crack, man. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to continue. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wouldn't have the same no, ring no, to it. Yeah, no. it wouldn't have the same. <laughs> What's yellow and black? Suni Juti. Yeah, Suni Juti. Suni Juti. Suni. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed there's no mullets here. Yeah. But that's what you were famous for and you've had such a massive influence on these guys. What's going on? Well, yeah, I, as I said, I need to mature up. I'm in my 30s <laughs> these days, but maybe these guys can bring it back a bit or something when, when different I, and unique. I'm when sure. I first came to the club, you had the, given it the mullet a crack. Yeah. It wasn't as long, and then I gave it a crack this pre-season. looked like that half-arsed, I, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to grow the whole thing out and then get the mullet, but 
I'm not sure if I have as much patience as this man. You also can't go with the Mo Mullet double. Like, that's too much, isn't it? Uh, why not? I don't I'm know. For it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you're all very placid in, in this interview, but the boys said, being Croatian, you all have that little sort of fiery streak about you. Is, is that fair? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say yeah. So, yeah. We've sort of grown up seeing our fathers probably be pretty fiery and that's where we get it from. What yeah. gets you going? Anything. <laughs> Where we've just been growing up competitive. It gets so heated at home. It's it's crazy. If one of you gets into a fight, does the other one immediately, you know, on the footy field, is the other one immediately there or I think there's been times when you and I have been in a few, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. It does happen. Don't know. Just takes over. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the game in well, the VFL, well. you were in the forward line and I was in the ruck and there was a couple of guys actually on you and I come running over from, yeah. I think I had my hands full. It was, yeah. like, it was a half time. I, was, I had like, a few people on each hand and then someone just came and got me a cheapie. It's like, I, remember, I can see you sprinting over. Yeah. <laughs> you just like, threw them off me. It's pretty funny. So. I love how you tell it in such a calm manner. Like you just yeah, was, had a cup of tea together. Yeah. It was, yeah it was, Standard, standard procedure. Come on, we play keepy uppies or whatever. Keepy uppies. Do oh, you want to get in close? Yeah. Get it, bring it in tight. Thanks, mate. Keepy uppies. You just put it down, Ziz. Pressure's on. Right. Playing with the Croats. Oh, too good, mate. No. Too good. Oh, oh, I'm out. I'm, I quit. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we all know Noah Bolter? Noah Bolter. Yeah, Noah. And then, yeah. And, Ivan Soldo. How many goals did you score? Um, <laughs> I've, I've kicked two. I reckon I've kicked two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, I remember speaking to you during the, the World Cup last year when Croatia made it to the final. How were you in the final of the World Cup versus watching Richmond in 2017? I was pure happiness when Richmond won, um, but I could, I was so upset about yeah, Croatia losing to France. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was in tears both on both occasions. It was yeah. In it was tears, good. watching you, yeah. you. You look like you're going through a trauma just thinking yeah. about it right now. <laughs> yeah, it took me probably twelve months to get it over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Were you angry? Were you just inconsolable? Yeah. Were you? I, I was. I was. I was angry at FIFA. I was looking for people to blame, and then. Um, these guys might not remember, but in the World Cup of 98, Croatia made the semi-finals and lost to France. And I was upset about that, so it brought back memories of 1998 for me. And then- Post-traumatic uh, yeah, stress. Yeah, and I thought I'd got it over it, but I just probably buried it. And, um, but yeah, it brought it all back to life. But oh, I wasn't alive in 98. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I wouldn't remember. Yeah. That makes I'm me old. feel old. Sounds like you were 90s. That was two, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't remember it then. <laughs> <laughs> if you won, what would have happened? I didn't think I would have come to work for a week. <laughs> yeah. If your family's accepted now that Aussie rules is a big part of the family and part of the new creation culture, or is it still soccer will always be number one? Ooh. That's an interesting question. Yeah. <laughs> if you asked it maybe 15 years ago, soccer would definitely be number yeah. one. But yeah, times are changing, which is great. You know, my father, I remember he sort of didn't want me to play f football and I used to sneak across the road to Keele Football Club and, and train and play while he was working. My parents are footy fanatics now. They, they love it, yeah. They're watching every game, even if I'm not playing, so. Yeah. All the best with your careers ahead. Um, hopefully it all goes well. And Ivan, um, always a, appreciate a bit of time with you. It's always a joy. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. This has been a Fox Sports production.